Hi, I'm Chris, the community developer for Prince of Persia. Yeah, the idea behind the uh, creative direction, so the illustrative art style you see, is because we've always had um, concept art like what you see behind us here in previous games, and we'd use that as reference guides for modelers or artists or level designers. And these guys would then turn something like that into like this 3D photorealistic world. And because of the heritage of Prince of Persia, we didn't feel that that was doing the heritage of the game and the brand justice because it's all about this sort of myth and legend um, type environment from like Arabian Nights that sort of stuff so we wanted to take these artworks and bring them to life so we we create this art stuff which we call illustrative and we think that this does it justice because if you imagine like a concept art like that imagine like a camera on that just zooming closer and closer and closer and closer and bang it comes to life that's what we're looking for this so we have these like almost paintings come to life able to like interact with them and move through the world and enjoy the story I think that um, you've got diehard fans who always want the same thing over and over again, which isn't necessarily the best thing for a video game. So we have to do things slightly different so we're able to sort of expand it and rather than have the same thing at boring, have something fresher. Um, because we think it's really just the history of the brand's justice. We think that it comes, the Prince of Persia brand comes from roots like this. I mean, uh, Jordan Mechner, the original creator of Prince of Persia, I've spoken to him many times myself. I saw him last week actually. Um, um, and he, he loves this art direction. I mean, he created Prince Persia, he thinks this is absolutely amazing, he absolutely loves it. So when you've got like that seal of approval, like that stamp of approval, it's sort of like, yeah, I think we did something right. And not everyone enjoys it, but when they see him play, they see him play the game, everyone's like, yeah, love it, it's brilliant, it works really well. So if you don't like it, play the game. <laughs> that uh, CGI trailer, that was more like a teaser into so sort I'm of saying we've got something coming with Prince Parish. I'm not quite sure what it is yet, but you can get a good idea of what it's going to be. Um, well, the game started in development after the Two Thrones, so 2005, where Ben Mattis, the producer, and a core team of people like uh, Jean Christophe uh, Guillaume. Um, sorry, not. <laughs> sorry, JC. <laughs> But uh, these guys basically got together and started thinking about where to take the Prince of Persia brand to. Um, and they started thinking about different ways to take the brand, different, had lots of experiments. And they came up with this idea of working together and having this emotional attachment to a video game. And then they started working on years and years and years. And they, they made this game which we think has got a very interesting story. We think when you play it, you'll have a very good emotional attachment to the story. And when you complete the game, you look back and hopefully you think very warmly of the game. One of the key things about Prince of Persia is the story. I mean, if you don't have an epic story, it's not a Prince of Persia game. So we do have this epic story, and the very start and the very end is the same for everyone. Those parts are the same. But the stuff in the middle, it's up to you how you experience the story. So, like I said earlier, there's a sort of mesh system going on, like a network of different paths and different roads. And when I play the game, I can go through one way, and when you play, you go through another way, and other people can go through it like, an entirely different way, and you can complete your objectives in different orders. So the story in the middle will unfold in different ways depending on how you play through it. So it's open world in the sense that you can go and complete the story in whichever path you want, and you have a complete freedom to do that. But the start and the end will always be the same. Depending on which route you take, depends on how the story unfolds. You can basically you have to heal different nodes throughout this entire big mesh network. And depending on how you heal the nodes, depends on how hard or how easy it can come for you. So you can go through the entire world and complete all like can do all the nodes and get all the light seeds and stuff, and it'll be like pretty simple for you. But if you're trying to do it really difficult, you can have the option as well. Um, you control it purely through the Elka button, uh, like you said. There's a button on the face pad when, I mean, the idea for Elka is we don't want this annoying NPC where you have to go back and save her, she's stuck in the scenery, or she's lost and you have to like go get her and like bring her forward or anything like that. We always want her there with the character and always a positive thing for the player. So whenever you want her in the game, you press the Elka button, she comes in, performs action, jumps right back. If you don't want her in the game, don't press the button, you don't use her. So in combat, if you don't want to use her, don't press the button, you won't use her in combat. But to control her in combat, you just press the other button, she comes in, attacks, and jumps back out. If you want to get her in a combo, you can use like the sword, acrobatic, elka, acrobatic, and so on and so forth. But if you don't want to use her, you just don't. So she's always there, but only when you want her. Personally, for me, oh, that's, that's actually a really hard question. Um, for me, I actually like the visual direction the most, and the creative direction, because I, I love games like Okami, I love games. 
like I call each other plus. I love sort of art games, if you want to call them that. Games which are more than just like space marines and space killing aliens again and again and again. I prefer games which are original and graphically different. And this game is very different from anything we've seen in the market before. Quite different to most things in the market, maybe not anything. Um, and I really like the creative direction from it. I really think it's beautiful in this game. I love seeing these paintings come to life and playing through this magnificent world. So when I was younger, I used to read a lot of fantasy books. I used to always like, imagine things in my head. But when you play things like this, it's like, wow, it's like a real world. So that's my favorite thing.